Hey, John Ball Zoo starting a large project to save a tiny species. They're partnering with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to work on saving the endangered Pawashik skipperling butterfly. Now, to do this, they'll be opening up a whole new facility all for breeding these nearly extinct insects. Now, these butterflies were once found here in Michigan, as well as many other northern and midwestern states. But over the past few decades, the skipperling has pretty much disappeared from several areas. This new facility will allow zoo staff to temporarily collect wild butterflies to obtain eggs. Then the zoo will raise the caterpillars and release them as adults to try and raise the population. And as the weather starts to warm up, the city of Kalamazoo is looking to hire seasonal workers. Now these temp jobs, there's openings in parks and rec department, public services department, a variety of positions are available from forestry and water distribution to lifeguards, cashiers, recreation program leaders, and much more. Many come with the opportunity to work outside. Now, as I mentioned, these positions are temporary. They won't exceed six months of work. To learn more, you can reach out to the city's HR department or head to the website right there on your screen. Of course, we'll have the link at fox17online.com. And St. Cecilia Music Center announcing brand new concerts for the 2022-23 season. It'll get started with a jazz concert in October featuring a Cuban duo Alfredo Rodriguez and Pedrito Martinez. Also, the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center will continue its 11-year partnership. And first off, they're going to perform Beethoven to Beach on November 17th. Now, tickets for these concerts and the others that you see on your screen can be purchased at scmc-online.org. Now, new this morning, we're getting a look, check these out, of renderings of the design and concept for a new ice rink in Holland. They shared them at an open house just yesterday. Back in March, retired educator Frank Cry gifted the city more than $1 million to help build it. It's proposed to be built at Window on the Waterfront. as a 30-acre area near the Makatawa River. The construction likely will begin sometime next year. Looks beautiful. And a brand new cruise ship is ready to take passengers on a tour of the Great Lakes. The ship docked just Tuesday morning, that's this morning, in Detroit. Was it yesterday morning? What day is it? Yeah. The brand new vessel is slated to take passengers on remote destinations throughout the Great Lakes. One of the tours touts a 15-day expedition of each Great Lake journeying from Toronto, Canada to Duluth, Minnesota. The ship features restaurants, a fitness center, spa, hair salon, and much more.